Hey Speedsters, I'm Ryan Gans, the host of Speedsters Inc. And today we are going to be playing Minecraft on a new world called Dropper of Horror or something like that. And today we have, uh, I also want to introduce you guys, Demon and Ashley, my sister, my little sister. I'm not the sister. <laughs> You're right, like, ah! There's a ghost attacking us. We started this. I like, can't do anything about it. We didn't play anything yet. We listened to the first audio, and I knew we had to record it. So let's go. So, so be quiet. Welcome to my newly renovated theater, the Dropper of Horrors. We have many delights in store for you, including our revolutionary 3D technology. Watching films is a thing of the past. Falling through them at a deathly breakneck speed, however, that is the future. Pick a film. All three acts are in the same hallway. Pick your act, then make your drop. Be oh careful, God, though. It's a long way down. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna reread the rule book. So. So, so Ashley can hear it. Do not press replay green. Alright. Welcome to the Dropper of Horrors Theater. To enjoy your features in the best way, please read your guide. A dropper is a vertical obstacle course. All you need to do is drop down and avoid the obstacle blocking your way to the bottom. If you don't fancy a dropping, you can try climbing your way down. There are nine drops, and what well, else? There is a tenth, but it's a secret. The drops are split into two individual stories, which each have their own hallway. The best way to play is to pick a story, then follow the act sequence to the finish. Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. Each drop has a story book you can read, as well as optional narration, which we will turn on. That you can play as a start at each drop. We recommend that you, the, or the reader, listen to stories before you drop. Right now the drops are locked. Uh, right now the drops are locked in act order, so you will need to play through the story acts. Man, I am horrible at reading. To unlock them, once you have unlocked all the drops, you can play them as many times as you want in any order. Now, first, I'm gonna throw this away. And demon, you better leave some popcorn for the rest of us. Come on, Ash. Never. Okay, I want one popcorn, one bag of candy, and a hot dog. Ash, what would you like? I would take candy. Thank you. And a hot dog. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm eating this cake. This is beauty. Oh, we can't breathe. Okay. All right. Well, now we have to wait for her to again. act. Hey, I want to select the machine. None be of them are be careful. Don't. Don't I mean, start the next. Do you see this? Someone got blood all over the slushy machine. Are you oh, sure that's that not strawberry? Insane. I know, right? Are you sure that's not strawberry? You're that's right. A that is a possibility. <laughs> all right. It's just, I'm gonna take, it's just jelly. I'm going to take my popcorn from my 3D glasses, and we're going to hit the road. All right. Um, so... which, which, which act do you want to do? Uh, well, there's time's order. Watch out for ghosts. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Because I want to see if she seems like a little girl again. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. I thought it was with you. Aren't you supposed to be the one that screams? Where is it? Oh. Where's, where is the little bitty spider? Get out of the girl's bathroom. Shh. I'll go work. Please. He was just in here. Occupied. <laughs> They're out of toilet paper. Alright, let's go. Alright, to the movie. Yeah, oh, sorry for the rain. I should have said this at the very beginning. It is raining really hard here, as you can hear it. And my voice is probably very low. And if you're in the rain, it's That's really three. It is? How can you talk? Oh! Oh, well that's nice. There's giant oh. numbers. Hey look, it's blobby. <laughs> the ghostly farts. Hi. Do you want to play hide and seek? If you win, I'll give you a prize. 
I hide in the theater sometimes. They're awfully cozy. Am I here? Am I there? Come see. Come find me. And we can play. Forever and ever. Forever. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not today. Nope! Oh, look at this. <laughs> Unlock the full outfit? Alright, let's go. Yeah. Uh, I think it has to do with the dropper maps. Oh. So I'm gonna fail at this. Alright, let's go. The Howling the Forest. Bum, bum, bum. Look at this. Okay. Oh man, I'm so excited for this movie. I know, right? I mean, I got I got my popcorn, my candy, and my hot dog. Dude, you just left us. <laughs> my hot dog. Hello. I'm here. I'm here. I, I want a front row seat to this thing. Yeah. Uh, I always like to buy the projector. Okay, well you stay there. So I can see everybody's head. Oh, begin narration. Okay. okay wait. Storybook. Oh. Story time. Okay. Story time. The howling Story time. The Howling Forest. When little Timmy and Ben asked their parents if they could go camping, they said no. There's wolves out there, it's too dangerous, his mother said. We'll take a trip somewhere else next summer. But little Timmy and Ben didn't listen, and they didn't want to wait. That night, they climbed down the dark steps to the cellar and packed their camping kit. Sleeping bags, lights, snacks, and most importantly, marshmallows. They snuck out into the forest, going deeper and deeper into the woods until they found their spot. In between trees, shielded from the wind, a level ground, and no parents. Timmy and Ben quickly built a fire and got out their roasting sticks. The marshmallows softly sizzled over the embers of their fire, and their laughter rang out through the trees. Their parents would never find out they giggled. Oh, but they did. Only two days later, when they found a ruined campsite. Wow, that was lovely. I didn't like the ending, though. All right. I loved I'm it. Sure this is ending. brilliant. All right. David, you want to go first, buddy? I'm, I'm going die, first. Guys, so you know. No, don't come down here. No. What? <laughs> Are we stuck? Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Hey, get down here, guys! Oh my goodness! Wow, I survived. You... Oh noobs! Okay, noobs! Right. Okay, you need to land into the water. If you didn't <laughs> get that. Oh my goodness, guys! I was so close, and then I barely missed. Ugh! I'm so annoyed. Come on, guys! It wasn't that hard. I keep hitting the same so spot. So actually, he's in second place. Hey, just get your popcorn out and just watch. You just gonna scared. die. Come on, Damon, you can do it. So we close, got this. you died. You got this, buddy. Just sit back, I relax, and watch him die. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, <laughs> That's so sad. Hey, let's get over by. Right. This is my life now. <laughs> You can't continue on. Oh, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not pressing it. Oh, good. Good, good. No, I wait, did wait, it. Over here. Since, <laughs> okay, yeah. If it's okay with you guys, since I'm host, can I just. Can I, yeah. All right. This way. There's two acts, remember? No. Yeah! Act number two The Howling Forest. Let's go. All right. I feel like I'm getting over. Timmy and Ben had gorged themselves on candy and chocolate. Their tummies were bloated, and all they could do was lie on their backs. I think I ate too many marshmallows, Ben said. Me too, Timmy said. Ben clutched his belly. I think I need to take a tinkle. And he wandered off into the woods. The first ten minutes Ben was gone, Timmy wasn't worried. But after thirty minutes passed, Timmy was trembling in his shoes. Where was Ben? Why hadn't he come back? Ben? He called out, but there was no answer. The wind whistled between the gaps of the trees, and everything seemed sinister. But little Timmy was brave. Maybe Ben had just fallen asleep. Timmy stood up. 
took his light and tried to track Ben's footsteps from the camp. First, they led to a tree, but then there were more tracks, and they weren't just footprints. A large, wide press, like a sledge, had been dragged across the forest floor. Ben must have found something big and dragged it somewhere. He was probably trying to hide it from Timmy. He always did annoying things like that. He never wanted to share. Timmy followed the tracks until they led to an old spelunking cave. The iron grates in front of the cave had rusted and bent. Loose cobwebs hung on the bars, fluttering gently as cold air flowed out of the cave. Timmy hated spiders, but this is where Ben went, so that is where he must go. Besides, little Timmy had a light, and little Timmy was brave. Wow, he's so brave. Oh. That's going to betray him in gone. the end, guys. Yeah. He's going to be dead. There's what about the outhouse? Go. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hey. Yeah, look oh, around. Oh. Because, whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa, um, demon, what do you find? I found the way to climb down. I'm going to die here. Spider! <laughs> Calm down, demon. They can't touch you anymore. Oh my goodness. Shut up! All of a sudden he gets, uh, he gets bit by the one. No! Oh. Look, I found the ghostly thing! I died. <laughs> I found that you! That was sad. That was just sad. <laughs> <laughs> What do I do now? Oh. Where's the water? Okay. This should be a direct drop. Yeah. More or less! Oh, yeah. so close! Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the giant spider! I didn't notice. I didn't notice that was an actually giant sp spider. A spider, Ashley. Dying. And that's all I know I'm gonna do. <sighs> I would have made it that time. I made time. it! I made it! Oh my stars, I made it! Oh, so Ashley's first place. Woohoo! Wait, wait, second. Uh -huh. Yes, I am champion. Haha! Uh -huh. Damn it, you can do it, buddy! Just climb down like I did! <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! I'm gonna do it legitly! Inside the cave, spiders scuttled away from like Timmy's it, light, crawling into small cracks. The larger ones stayed their ground, eyeing little Timmy oh. as if to dare him to break their web. But he didn't. Timmy crept and squeezed past any gap that he could. Ben was down there somewhere. A bat squeaked and flew out of the cave as Timmy approached, and he yelled out in surprise. After he realized, Timmy laughed at his foolishness. It was just a bat, not scary at all. Just then, he heard soft footsteps approaching him from the other side of the cave. Ben? He called out, but no answer. Ben, if that's you, stop it, it's not funny. The footsteps stopped. Ben? Little Timmy raised the light above his head, peering into the darkness, but he couldn't see anything. He walked further into the cave, every muscle tensing in his body, willing him to turn back. But little Timmy was brave. He wouldn't run from footsteps. Just then, Timmy saw a dark figure move in the shadows. Ben? He called out. But it wasn't Ben. The dark figure leapt at Timmy, and the last thing he saw was the dark yellow eyes and sharp white teeth of a shaggy grey wolf. Aren't the brave ones the always the ones that get killed first? Alright. All right. Uh, technically, Ben was the get one in. that got killed first, so basically the ones who need Ready? to go back another go. way. Go! Oh, sing! Oh, sing! Okay, okay, oh, almost. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> Man, his mouth is like... Okay. Uh, oh no! Oh my word, Ash! Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah! I made it! Woo! I was good. Good. All right. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh wait, there. no, we wait, we wait for Demon. We wait for Demon. Demon, come on. Oh, give me a second. Oh, we're in the belly of the beast. I just got that. Oh my goodness. Here, yeah, here that's belly hilarious. of the beast. Have my Is this like a male version of... Hey, um, sacrifice your hot dog. Sacrifice, sacrifice. And all your books. My oh, but I like my books. Keep your candy. Oh no! Demon Demon's just getting all candy. of our stuff. <laughs> okay, mm, <ready>? tasty. <laughs> Two days of rain followed little Timmy and Ben's camping trip, clearing away their tracks. But their parents still searched for them. A whole search party scoured the forest, but it was only on the second day that they found Timmy and Ben's campsite. The tents were torn and shredded. The food they hadn't eaten scattered across the floor, soggy marshmallows and sandwiches left by a fire that had long since fizzled out. They never found Timmy or Ben. The only thing left was Ben's coat, caught on the prickly branches of a pine tree. Pine tree. Yeah, that was awesome. We would have spent the yeah, they're looking dead. up there. <laughs> okay, All right. so we got Dips. Two more cash. Next Sweet. Wait, can we actually put on the outfit we get? That'd be awesome for you. Yeah. That's why okay. I called dips. Although, if I have to take my glasses it off, says, I'm not doing it. It says, unlock the full outfit, then the door shall open. Well? This is times where you make a door. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, hey, that not with me. Said, you said make a door. You don't throw me at the window, Ryan. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Well? Well? Why can't you open it? Hmm. Are we missing like the boots or something? No. We got everything, right? I'm pretty sure we did. We can go ask the ghostly thing again. The ghostly thing? Shut up. Okay. Now you can listen here, punk. Alright, on to the next act. I yeah. guess so, but that's sweet. Night of the Missing Pet Zombie loved his cat. He called her Emmy, and they went on all sorts of trips together. They went running by the river, climbing over rocks, and lazing under trees. But the most fun was when they terrorized the local villagers of Wheatburn. Emmy would lure the villagers around corners with her soft meow, where Zombie would be waiting to scare them. But now, those times were over. After their scare trips, Zombie would be tired, but Emmy was always still full of energy, so she would venture out into the wild on her own. Sometimes she wouldn't be back for days, but this time, it was much longer. After a week, Zombie went out searching, and he found her by the riverside, bruised and broken. The villagers had taken their revenge on his cat, Emmy. Zombie was stricken with grief and hate. His friend, the mad scientist, tried to comfort him, but Zombie couldn't shake it. The villagers need to pay, but they would wait. First, Emmy needed to be buried. Zombie took her body to the local graveyard, where he began to dig hard and fast. He didn't look up There's until he was surrounded by the dirt walls of the grave. When it was deep enough, he climbed out to get Emmy, but she was missing. He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find her. The only person who knew he was burying her tonight was himself and his friend, the mad scientist. Zombie looked up at his friend's castle. The lights were on in the windows. The strange contraptions working their green smoke. Maybe the mad scientist 
wasn't his friend after all. Maybe not. I mean... Okay, there's a ghost up How do we get up building. to that stupid thing? I don't know. Maybe it's just a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the way they go. I'm gonna go to the after. Uh, uh. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Yes. Two blocks. I love my I'm waiting. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm waiting. It's right there. Uh, what if I just died? Like, you know. Oh my goodness, finally, kid. Uh, Get on your podium. <laughs> okay. no. Nope. Wait, I can't see. Uh, where am I going? Okay. Whoa. Sorry, like, I couldn't see the ground. Come on, guys. Act 2 is starting. <laughs> we already missed the previews. Oh, look at that. What? Oh, hello. Zombie quickly ran up to the castle and burst through the door. Mad scientist, he yelled. Where is my cat? He raced through hallways of armored knights, shiny swords and crest shields. But he couldn't find the mad scientist's laboratory. Zombie would get lost in this castle before he found Emmy. But it didn't matter. He had to do it. He had to avenge her. He burst through door after door, pushing over armor stands and decorations through the castle. Destruction and rubble followed in Zombie's wake. He would level this castle to the ground if it meant finding Emmy. But he didn't have to. He turned a corner and saw the telltale green hue of his old friend's experiments. A tall iron door with metal grates stood in his way. I'm coming, Emmy, Zombie said, and he pushed the door open. The mad scientist's laboratory was just as difficult to navigate as the castle. Bottles and jars of strange green liquids sat on shelves and desks. Otherworldly tendrils poked out of walls and mechanical spiders with human heads skittered across the floor. Zombie would destroy all of it yep. if Emmy was harmed. Every last bottle and tube, every table and chair. Zombie would even tear down the stone walls. And the mad scientist himself? He would rip him apart like paper, shred him to pieces. First those villagers killed his cat, and now his only friend stole her from him? No, Zombie would not stand for this. He ran through the laboratory, knocking things over as he went. The mechanical whirs of the mad scientist's machines droning in the distance. No doubt he was already performing experiments on Emmy. Experiments that he was going to stop. The droning became louder. Zombie was getting closer. He heard a laughter coming from behind a doorframe. He rushed to the door and what he saw made his jaw drop. In the center of the room was Emmy hooked up to a machine. Alive and purring. 
a greenish tint to her fur. Okay. So, anyways, I just got, just uh, got that the reason why Zombie thought he was his friend is because he's a zombie. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh look, it's Fluffy! The cat! Ooh. The following nights, the villagers of Wheatburn knew no rest. Emmy let out blood-curdling shrieks into the night, and Zombie chased down any villager trying to find the noise. Even when she went alone, oh, Zombie wasn't worried. Emmy was invincible now. She was a zombie, just like him. I wonder why. So the first one's a wolf, the next one's a zombie, and I wonder what the last one's gonna be. A pumpkin. Does it matter? I sure hope not. It's that Welcome. one Welcome. Ooh. That was on top of the... Um, the wicked pumpkin. Oh, there's a tiny spider. I'm screaming out of sheer terror. Oh my goodness, D demon, there are three tiny spiders up here. You've got to be careful. Oh my god. <laughs> the wicked pumpkin. Shouts and screams chased the witch of Westwick back to her hut in the forest. The locals had caught on. She had been too careless flying on her broom, and now they knew she was a witch. Over her shoulder, she could see the bright fires of torches, their light gleaming off the villagers' pitchforks and scythes. Her life near Westwick was over. She would have to set up somewhere else. But first, she had to deal with the peasants. Concoctions and potions raced through her head as she navigated her enchanted trees. An invisibility potion would do the trick, but she didn't have the right ingredients. She would have to improvise. Her cat was waiting at the doorstep, but she had no time to lose. She would only have a precious few minutes before the villagers would be at her door. Every second that passed, the shouts of the villagers grew louder. The witch raced around her hut, grabbing potions, roots and flowers and casting them into her cauldron. She didn't even know if what she was making would work. Her best hope was that it would grant her invisibility for just a short while, enough to be able to grab her most precious things and take off into the night. She grabbed the last of the ingredients and cast them into the cauldron. Pumpkin innards, chicken leg, and begonia stem then stirred vigorously. The liquid inside the cauldron turned orange, blue, and then simmered down to a green. It was done. The witch grabbed a spoon and carefully poured the liquid into a glass. It was now or never. She downed the glass and gulped down every drop. It burned her throat and clogged it like she had swallowed ash. Oh, wait, her eyelids okay, became heavy and droopy. Yep. Her body be felt be like it was made of metal. No, no, Something no, no, no. was wrong. She stumbled no. and knocked over the cauldron. Her mind turned to green and orange, as if the only thing that existed was fire and flower stems. She could see a blazing sun burning over green grass fields, a young dandelion growing out of thick green leaves, green frogs jumping over a river tinged with streaks of orange rust, a large ripe pumpkin sitting in a vine-filled mud patch. Demon! Wait, did she turn This one ass, it's a lot easier. Wait, I just heard the ghost cackle. I gotta die! I did Let's it. go! What? No, guys, help, I'm stuck. I didn't kill myself, and now I'm stuck down here. Oh, please, 
Oh. 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 I mean. I failed. Are they killing no, no, it's staying alive. I don't know how you can... Okay. It's still alive. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Steven, have you ever seen a poop? Yes. It's still alive. Poop, oh, poop. Dolly, Dolly, you look what am I gonna do? I got down. Aha! Shut it. Ryan, wait, Ryan, you haven't gotten down yet? No. Oh, yes, that means I'm first. Sweet. I'm on the frog. No, Where demon! You know? No, demon! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I stole it from him! Okay, let's look at that ghost. I know it's that. Oh, where is it? You should. I don't know where I am anymore. When the witch finally escaped the madness of the potion, she tried to regain her bearings. A large scarecrow stood slanted off to her right, and all around her, she was surrounded by pumpkins. She had turned herself into a pumpkin. <laughs> Aha! She thought to herself, "I did it! I tricked those nasty peasants." She laughed inside her head with a mirth that only wicked witches turned into pumpkins could have. She hadn't intended to turn herself into a pumpkin, but it did the job. Now all she had to do was wait until the spell wore off. Then she'd be able to go on her merry way. But the witch had forgotten one thing. It was harvesting season, and she was a very large and magnificently ripe pumpkin. So... The witch waited, oh, got it. and waited, and the spell didn't wear off. Oh, oh, that is, did you guys hear that? That was a beautiful ending to that the story. That was funny. Oh, oh, I just realized. Oh, oh, Ashley. Ashley. What? Okay. What? You're right here. Okay. Jump on this. Jump on this. Jump on this. And look at this. What does this look like? A pumpkin? No. No. Look. A pumpkin pie? Yeah, a pumpkin pie. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that is glorious. Oh, yeah. Let's start. Now the Witch of Westwick had finally disappeared, there was nothing on the mind of the farmers except their beautiful pumpkins. The pumpkin farmers of Westwick had a brilliant harvest that year. They had so many pumpkins that they were able to have pumpkin pie every night. The very first pumpkin they cut was such a beauty. They made a pie out of it for all the workers. Sat around the table, scraping off every last morsel from their plates, every farmer agreed that there was something unnaturally good about the harvest that year. Whoever made this map, that was brilliant. That was a brilliant uh, Cannibalism. Entrance. In a way. Oh, that's right. We got all of the outfits. Awesome. Let's just see. It's going to be wet. I mean, it's going to be a It's a... It's gonna be a pumpkin. Really? What is it? Really? <laughs> I am disappointed. That is so. Through the credit tunnel. Whoa. Duck screw. Duck screw. Oh, whoa. Mm. Are you uh, duck screw. Are you the one saying duck screw? Oh. 
Oh. Well, there's a secret hidden place. You mean you found it? I'm good at finding secrets. <laughs> Just not Duck's playing crew. their map. Duck's crew. The sea. I'm gonna enter the inn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. And oh, so close. Oh, too fast. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Got it! Okay. What? <sighs> wow, well, thank you. Thank you, Master. You know, I think it's only. I think it's a. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm gonna kill Boom! Oh, I hate all of you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a blast. We're on the Xbox One edition, and it's a drop of a four. Definitely recommend it. What? Now, I want to say thank you to Ashley, my little sister, and Demon for joining. If you want to become an official speedster, just, <laughs> just subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see more videos like this. But until then, this is Speedster. Hi, Signing out.